In today's tips and tricks, we're going to see how to test the heat functions of the trays using the hidden screen. So let's get started. So first we have to get to the hidden screen. So we'll press customize, adjust cycle times, press this corner, press it again, press it again. Here's the heat option. So we would just press it, turn it on, press again to turn off. There's a little bit of a delay there. So now let's look and see how fast the trays heat up. So let's see what temperatures we're at right now. 59 degrees. 58 on the second shelf. 58 on the third shelf. 58 on the fourth shelf. Let's turn the heat on. You can see it's starting to climb. Each shelf is climbing. My tray temperatures are set to 125 degrees. So during the regular running, this bottom shelf and the top shelf are closest to the cold wall when this outside is frozen. So while that's frozen, that's going to keep these the top shelf and the bottom shelf colder. So this shelf and this shelf will be cooler than the two middle shelves. Just heard it click, so it turned off. I'm probably starting to cool. One twenty, one twenty eight, one twenty eight, one twenty five. This one still seems quite a bit cooler than the others. So after our free cycle is complete, we'll flip this tray with this tray, and then we'll flip the top tray with the third tray, and then we'll run it for another two hours just so we can get the extra heat on this bottom tray. I don't know if I'm not hitting this right. There you see 104. So when you're done with your test, you can either hit the off button or just leave in the screen will actually turn everything off also. So in our next video, we'll be checking the vacuum.